Welcome to Heartland Dual Sport. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a couple of things that you might want to consider before planning your next adventure trip. So let's get to the video. Okay guys, so as many of you know, recently I took a trip to Oklahoma. I went back to see my dad. It was a little over, let's just say it was 650 miles round trip. During that trip, I went through a lot of rain. And I have to say this about the luggage that comes factory on the adventure model of the KLR 650. It worked great, it worked flawlessly. I was able to pack all the stuff I needed. I also had my Moscow Moto bag on top that's pretty much loaded down with my camping gear and that kind of stuff. And I didn't have any issues at all. However, once I got into the rain, I did hit a few slick spots and it made me think about something that I hadn't thought about previously. But if you remember when we had our Africa Twin, I put the Moscow Moto luggage on it on purpose and it's kind of twofold and you can argue whatever you want as far as hard luggage hitting your leg out on a trail is it dangerous is it possible that it would uh, potentially hurt your leg or break your leg and I really don't want to go there where, where I'm going today is we're going to talk about what happens if you slip on the road or, or a bar ditch or even some of the back roads or go down in the mud the probability or likelihood of cracking the plastic luggage that comes stock on the KLR is significant. Now again what made me start thinking about this was I slipped a couple of times in the rain. Now of course I was going too fast so I was trying to get out of the rain but it doesn't really matter. I mean we're all human we're going to make mistakes and and uh, heck even JP1970 he's gone down on his a couple of times and I know when he went down on the one video where his buddy was actually videoing it, he didn't have his luggage on. So basically what I want to talk about is where we're at and what you can do or think about as far as luggage. Number one, I'm not saying you need to go buy some soft luggage. What I am going to say is consider putting dry bags inside your plastic that if you went down and you broke your plastics you don't have stuff basically scattered all across the highway or road or in the mud or whatever else the other idea and logic behind that is if you carry some spare rock straps like we do if something did happen and you did go down then you've got that potential of at least having a way to tie it on your bag to get you back home and that's actually what I'm what my mind in my mind happened on that trip I did not put a bunch of stuff in dry bags I have you know as many of you know I've got my tools separated out and I've got them split up across the bike to try to even out the weight to make the bike a little more level if you will and uh, I did not think about the plastic I knew that my bags were dry and they'd keep my clothes dry so I didn't even think about a dry bag so today we're gonna go up here we're going up to a state park one that we've been to in the past but this is a two-fold trip we're scrubbing in the tires on this KLR we had to put new tires on it planning for an adventure trip and then we're also going to show you a solution that's cheaper than the Moscow Moto luggage and probably what we need to do is just make that another video entirely but I'm going to try to cram it all into one and we're just going to call it a show and tell Monday video. On today's show and tell Monday I'm going to be showing you some luggage that we got along with an accessory from 3D Cycle Park. So I'm going to show you some pictures of the Tusk and I'm going to explain to you kind of some pros and cons and then also show you some things that I did to modify the bag using this 3D Cycle Parts plate system that he's developed 
to fit on the stock bars that come with the adventure the stock luggage rack I should say and then also show you what I've done because I don't want that big strap going across my seat so. okay so we'll start over here this is going to be the left side of the bike and as you can see the tusk bag actually fits about the same ride height as the stock plastic saddlebags work and again when you get this set from Tusk whether you buy it from 3D Cycle Parts Amazon or, or wherever you get yours you're gonna get two of these large buckle straps and the way these are designed from the factory is this straps gonna go across your seat both here and then back here and I didn't actually like that I don't want a big strap running across my seat because when I'm on a long road trip I might scoot up or back just to try to make the ride a little more comfortable so basically what I did is I got another strap of similar size and used it back here and I'll take this emergency bag off so you can see that strap a little bit better but I've got it strapped to basically what you could call the grab handle or whatever you want to call it which is part of your bike frame so again to take these off it's super simple you just undo the snap which is the stock one and then this is the one that I made so again you can just undo that it's obviously easier without the top bag on this top bag has nothing but my camping gear so it's got my tent sleeping bag sleeping pad the whole shebang so it's all real lightweight stuff up here up top it's a big heavy duty bag it's one of the Moscow Moto bags from when we had the Africa Twin but part of what I'm doing in this video is showing you guys some other options besides the Moscow Moto luggage with this quick connect plate you just undo those three pins that I just pulled out and you just pop this off now then one of the cool things that I do like about this plate that you get from 3d cycle parts and again I'll show you how these pins work these mounting spots are designed to fit on the Kawasaki luggage rack that comes stock on the adventure model these pins basically hold it in place when you get it on the bike so you don't have to worry about it vibrating loose but you've got three pins for which makes it a quick connect system they go in there and then they hold it now if these were to break that's where these straps come in and kind of become a fail safe for you so they're going to be strapped holding it onto the bike so even if one of your little plates did break and again I'm not saying they will I'm just saying Murphy's Law sometimes goes to, into effect when you're on these adventure trips and you're riding a little bit harder than you would be if you was just riding a street bike so the bike's already known to have a little bit of a vibration but you start factoring in rough roads or back roads or dirt roads there's no telling what you might roll up on so that's why I went ahead and like I say you can see this straps actually a little bit bigger than this one I did reach out to 3d cycle parts see if I could get an extra strap for that and he did not have any so if you guys are any of y'all are watching this from Rocky Mountain ATV I'd be interested in purchasing another strap just to make that easier to get on and off the bike because the one I've got actually is not probably as good as this one but I can't find the parts anywhere I have looked online I'd be willing to purchase it but again it just makes it so much easier now when you undo these and you've got them tied to the bike the other one's still tied onto the bike so it's not like if you if you have this going across the the bike like it should when you undo that metal strap that one's going to fall on the ground or you're going to have to kind of have a plan to pick them both up at the same time i may or may not need both of them but i do have my tools and everything separated another thing that i want to note real quick while we're looking at this you can see it's got all these little spaces in here that are pre-cut from the factory when they're when they design this you can't see it because i've got this this is actually a fender bag it's got a spare tube and a couple of spoons just to kind of help distribute the weight a little bit closer to the bike and behind there is also a, a mount that's pre-drilled out for roto pack so if you wanted to try to carry one of the smaller roto packs you could probably do it on the left side of the bike because the muffler's on the right um, but this is what we're doing and if I had one of these on this side or on the other side I think it would help as well but I only have I know at one time I had three or four of these fender bags but I can only find one now you know how life happens and moving 
but anyways that's the real quick show and tell Monday of how this system works and why I think it's a good show and tell Monday product to do because it is affordable compared to some of the other brands out there and so far I'm really liking the way it works I'm going to show you one other mod that I've done to this and that is I went ahead and put these uh, rock straps on because if you don't have the rock straps on there's a little bit of a play and when I say a little bit of a play it doesn't matter how tight you get that there's a little bit of play here between your mounting plate and these bags which is okay unless you're on a bunch of rough stuff and I don't want the bag bouncing up and down all the time so to eliminate that I went ahead and used just some of the holes that are already pre-drilled in that mounting plate bring your rock strap up you can tighten that thing down and uh, now it's more like one solid piece less likely to vibrate and move around and then you can always tuck these little deals one thing I will say while we're here and talking about it these straps are long enough to be well ropes that come for this top now the good thing about that and on the other side I'll show that to you before we end the video the good thing about these straps is they're long enough you can put one of those joey chairs or camp chairs you could even do a small tent up here maybe even a another small cylinder shaped dry bag with something um, again I wouldn't put anything heavy up here but you could put light stuff up here that's just bulky this may be where I put some of my GoPro camera stuff in a dry case that way it's easy to get to as well oh get my straps out of the way and they'll pop right on and you could hear it clip put your pins in And again, guys, I want to thank you for tuning in and watching our Show and Tell Monday. Again, like all of our other Show and Tell Mondays, this is just a modification that we're doing to the KLR. There will be a full review coming down the road after we've used it for a while. Next week's Show and Tell Monday, you don't want to miss out. We're going to be going over some tires. I've kind of explained some of the problems with the tires that we had as far as riding in the rain. Overall, the tires did flawlessly. You just need to slow down a little bit if you are riding in the rain but we don't have enough tread left to make another long road trip and get back home. And I don't want to be somewhere where I actually have to change a tire in the field. I've got all the stuff to do it. It's just not fun. And again, thanks for tuning in to Heartland Dual Sport. If you like this video, give us a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, share it with your KLR buddies. We appreciate all your likes, comments, and subscribes. I do my best to try to comment back on everybody that leaves a comment. And if know this, if I'm out on the road and I'm going back to Oklahoma and I don't get to your comment in a couple of days, give me a couple of days, guys, but I always try to get back with you. Again, we appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribes, and may you have a blessed week.